Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 22 on Mr. James's project. And this happens to be the last episode on the first floor superstructure as we bring the project to a halt and then we wait for the roof trusses and then the roofing sheets. Once that is completed, then we will start again from the bottom where we're going to do the piping work, all the plumbing works from within. Okay, yes, if we have to do um, telecommunication wiring, we have to do all of that. All the information that needs to be done within the ground floor and the first floor before plastering commences, we have to do all of them. So at this point, you need to write down whatever that you need to do in the ground floor and the first floor. Okay, the type of um, wiring system that you need, okay, that needs to be done. How you want your bathrooms layout to be. Okay, the type of shower heads that you need. All these things need to be designed and positioned. Because once the plumber puts in all the piping layout, and the electrician puts in all the electrical piping layout and you do the plastering, that is it. You understand? Yes. So all information, especially when you have to do, um, I know that recent time you are doing wireless communication, but you still need a modem. Okay, a modem will need a few telecommunication wires to be run where you can plug your RJ45. You understand? Um, your TV, you know, there should be TV in each of the room with one TV antenna up on the roof. We call something TV booster. There should be a socket nearby the TV junction box. You understand? All these should be incorporated. Okay, these are all information that you need to have someone who have the knowledge to bring them to you so you can incorporate them. If you just pick some electrician somewhere and said, oh, my uncle, you want to use one electrician. He's good. You see, the IQ level of that uncle of yours might be low. And perhaps you are incorporating the same thing in your house and you feel like, oh, I was expecting him to do a better job though. But you see, you didn't test the IQ level of the person. How exposed is the person? You need people who have been exposed for years so you can incorporate them in your, in your vision. So as you see, the top pillars have been cast, okay, yes, the, we laid four cores after the lintel, and so, how do you call it, the pillars have been cast, and apparently we are going to do a platform where the polytank is going to sit, and so we have to locate as per the design where the bathroom is because that portion is smaller, and therefore we can do a slab on that area, and then the polytank can sit there and all the air conditions can also sit there. The solar water heater can even stay on top of the roof because it won't cause any harm. You understand? Okay, so air conditioning outdoor unit for all the first floor will be on that platform. Um, we're going to have 1,000 liters poly tank situated there. And then a solar water heater system will also stay at the top. So these are good information that Mr. James is having and he needs to prepare himself towards it. At this time, once he get the roofing sheet done, then you can see that he's, let me say, 30% through with his project. I'll put, I'll call it 30%, yes, because there's a lot of work to be done. Okay, once you do all those electrical piping and all that is required in the kitchen, we have to bring in um, a kitchen designer who will design the kitchen in a way where socket will be, the gas hub will be, the hood will be, which is the extractor, okay, a pendant light, all those information need to be given. So they design the kitchen before the plastering even commences because the socket position will be determined prior to the design of the kitchen cabinet. Are you with me? Where the fridge is going to be situated, the deep freezer is going to be situated, Everything needs to be designed thoroughly before the plastering commences. You understand? It is very, very important. Very, very important. And therefore, Mr. James is 30% through now. 
okay because the cost of um, sand cement alone for the plastering is not easy it's not easy it's not easy at all but we're gonna pull through and hopefully by next year by this time man you're gonna see different changes in this house maximum okay yes so as you see all the top pillars have been cast so these are the various stages in the building construction industry we did the ground floor foundation okay we did a foundation ground floor superstructure first floor decking and first floor superstructure up to lintel and then after lintel so after lintel block work is completed with all the top pillars cast now we are on the platform for the poly tank and this is the platform for the poly tank and all that i have mentioned earlier on once this is complete then we are waiting for the carpenter to put the wood trusses and then the roofing sheet comes and we call it done you understand we call it done and then we'll start again from the bottom just like i mentioned one step at a time one step at a time and with that point we need to think thoroughly okay before anybody comes we need to plan okay yes we need to plan thoroughly in order to make sure that we don't have to you know destroy or remove anything and redo them all over again because it's money is difficult to come by you understand money is difficult to come by and our goal is to minimize costs as as, as many things as we can we try as much as possible to reduce unnecessary expenditure are you with me yes so i'm happy for my big uh, brother mr james yes i'm happy for him and i can't wait to see this house getting finished so he can move in whenever he's back home in ghana man he will just drive straight into his house <laughs> that'll be so nice in case you need our services, please write to me at bright and clara at outlook.com. Okay, so our email have changed. It's now bright and so the and is a n d. Okay, bright and clara at outlook.com. Okay, we prepare estimate for your building. If you have a drawing, I'll prepare an estimate for you at a cost. And then once the estimate is approved we start to build for you by you sending the money and we will build the house for you you understand we have so many platforms where we give you the opportunity to view and see what is happening on your site video live video call so you can see exactly what is happening at your site okay again i want to let you know that if you love this video please give it a thumbs up the thumbs up helps the algorithm of YouTube to share it for a wider audience so that people can be aware of what we are doing. So we need to spread this news. Again, you need to subscribe. There's a subscription button on your right hand side. Please click on the subscription. And then also there's a doorbell or there's a bell on the top right hand side. You need to click on that bell that keeps you on a post notification that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Are you with me? If you have done all these, then congratulations. If you haven't, please do so to help the channel grow. Okay? Yes. And without much, I'll say this is the end of this episode. From me to you, Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.